Hello everybody! Welcome back to Seeking Happy. I am Maudie and today we are doing another following Halloween episode. This one is actually going to be a blind bag unboxing because I've gotten a few um, little blind bag purchases like here and there and those always take a little more time because we want to see what's inside. So <laughs> I wanted to share that experience with you. We're going to be opening four blind items today. Let me bring them out and we'll get a look at what they are. All right, so you can see I've got four items to open. I have two of the mini brands, Five Surprise. The, these have been so difficult to find. After I had purchased my first ones, I just never found them again in stores, except I did see them at one store this same day that I bought these at a ridiculous markup. Just a crazy price increase because these are just like super fun and trendy, but then I found a couple at a really good price, so I did go ahead and get two of those. Each one has five items inside, so that's ten things we're going to open right there. Non-spooky items, and then for our spooky items, we've got two different Nightmare Before Christmas items, so they are a blind bag. Um, we will go ahead and look at these in a little more detail later, but I have two different ones two slightly different price points from two different stores. So, oops. <laughs> okay, that had to reveal my little secret there, but I was trying to get everything set up <laughs> for you to see it perfectly. Okay, so let's go ahead and clear everything away and we'll start with this guy and then we're going to open this one and then we'll go ahead and do these two one after the other so we can do a real good comparison with those. Let's do it. Okay, so we've got our first mini brands. If you have never seen these before, they are so much fun. They did supposedly <laughs> start um, releasing the second series now that come in a gold ball. Um, but I definitely have not seen those yet anywhere in stores. And these, like I said, the white ones have been already so difficult to get. So, you know, and also seeing the... um. Seeing the new ones in stock, like from the unboxings I've seen, I really kind of prefer a lot of the items in this first series. And since I haven't gotten too many yet, um, you know, I figured let's get a few more. Oh, I didn't get like the satisfying pop open. <laughs> okay, so you open it like an orange so cute. I really like the way that they designed these. They just seem so fun. And every one of them has a little pull tab where you can open it. There it is. Okay. So let's see. Oh, okay. So the first one I opened, we got our little checklist, which shows you like the rare items and everything. Um, let me give you a little glance at that in case. Oh my gosh. I, can't, I just can't keep these <laughs> circular figures in place. Okay, so anyways, this is the way it looks. It does have the gold items, which we actually did get the little cold stone ice cream in our other opening. If you didn't see that one, definitely feel free to check, go back and check that out on my channel. But anyways, you can see the special ones and a little bit, a little glimpse of all the common items. I watch, um, I've been watching Bunny Myers, uh, Graveyard Girl, open these, and she, like me, um, kind of always says that she prefers the regular ones because they come in the correct coloring. Like, the gold ones are the ones that are hard to find, but they don't look like the real food. So, that's the way I feel. It's always cool to find something that is rare, but... It just looks so cute to me when it's identical. Wait, was that her that was saying that? Or was that my froggy stuff? I watch both of them. I watch a lot of like <laughs> miniature stuff. I, actually, I think it was my froggy stuff. I love her channel. If you haven't watched it and you love like miniature stuff, doll size stuff, definitely check her out. Okay, so we've opened the second one and it is an item I've gotten before, the Bosco chocolate syrup. 
Would have been way cuter. I don't know why it's in a plastic. I don't remember that from last time. Would have been way cuter if it was a Hershey's chocolate syrup. But still kind of a cute item. And if you've never seen these before, the detail on them is so impressive. It's really, really cool. I know I can't get too close. But as you can see, there are words there. And they are so tiny. <laughs> Okay, so we've got to, by the way, what am I hoping for here? Not a basket, I'll tell you that. I hate the baskets. I feel like I'm going to open one right now. <gasps> no, I opened something so cute. I love these little like pouch items. And I don't think I've gotten this one. I got a Smarties bag. I feel like that's perfect for Halloween. Little tiny variety bag of candy. Well, it's not a variety. It's just Smarties, but... I love it. It's so tiny. Isn't it adorable? And these are like 3D. Yeah, it just has like a little spongy material inside, but that is so freaking cute. I love these because just like the fact that the packaging on it is like a similar texture to what real packaging would be makes it just that much more realistic. So cute. Okay. I think I always want an ice cream and I've never gotten an ice cream. <gasps> Look, we got another candy item. So it's like the same style. These are dum-dums. So now I've got my Smarties and my dum-dums. Oh my gosh, I'm definitely going to set up a little Halloween. I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say it as if I have like a little dollhouse. I kind of dream of having like a little dollhouse to just decorate for the holidays. Because I like, you know how like the the idea of decorating an entire house like every room seasonally I just don't have the energy to do that in my real life but I feel like it'd be so fun to do in a tiny tiny scale you know what is our last one? Oh, it's little hostess cupcakes the only thing I don't like about these cardboard boxes because it is true to being a cardboard box IRL in real life but I feel like they should have put something in it to make it a little sturdier or like weigh it because it just feels like <sighs> cheapy to me because it is just cardboard. But um, it is so cute. Super, super, super cute. The scale on these is like perfect and adorable. I really like that little bunch. I feel like we, with the, with the exception of this one, and also like, what is this moon pie? I guess a um, banana. But like, it looks like such a custardy yellow. Why isn't it like a bright, pretty yellow? <laughs> like my background. <laughs> but that was a good bunch. All the little like sweets. I love them. Okay, I'm going to open the second ball. And we'll see what we get. I was just corrected in being told that the moon pies are not a bright yellow. <laughs> but if you've watched my um, Korean snack hauls, then you'll know that I actually don't really have a background of eating moon pies. So I guess I never noticed that they were not a bright yellow. I prefer everything to be as beautiful as possible, please. Okay, let me open this off camera because it takes like a moment. Well, no, I'm doing pretty good. Hang in there, Maudie. You're doing okay. No, I'm not. I can't find the thing. Hold on. Okay, we're back. <laughs> and there we go. Orange moment. Oh my gosh. That's not supposed to happen. Okay, so let's see what we get in this one. I should have looked. Let me look at our checklist for a second. I really want to like pick out a favorite item. I totally lost it. I don't know where it is. I wanted to like channel a favorite item to get. Why can I never find the little pull tab? Oh, because it's like in different places. <gasps> oh, yeah, I have not gotten this one. I got the little Kika Man. Is that how you say it? Whoa, is this like double wrapped? Or is that part of the packaging? Right? Like it has like a clear wrap on it still. I guess that's the printing. Oh, I don't like it. It should be printed directly on it because I want to like tear this away, but I'm pretty sure that's where the font is. Oh my gosh. This is already like so bothering me <laughs> and I've never seen anybody show this one with 
I don't know, like up close, so I don't know if this comes off. Please help me if you have this item, tell me, can I take this plastic off or will I wreck it? Okay, so for now we're going to um, ignore that it has that plastic. It's a little difficult because it's so shiny with my lights. But the shape of this bottle is so cute. A little soy sauce. The little, like, lid of it. I feel like everything is just so cute about it. It's just, like, the more distinct the packaging or the shape is on the real item, the more awesome it is to see the mini version of it. <laughs> okay, so that's that one. Let's go this way. Let's work our way around. Oh, we got a gold item! <laughs> So we got the Pez, which I think was actually probably the weirdest gold item. And I do love the Pez dispensers. Look at that gorgeous. You guys know I love like a nice like emboss. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. But <laughs> it is like, why does it have little sunglasses? Well, it's like a little face. I guess that's okay. <laughs> Look, I even like that it has like the hinge detail on the back, like where it would pop up. Man, I haven't had a real um, freaking Pez <laughs> dispenser since I was little, but it is a candy that I really used to like when I was little. Oh my gosh. Can we get it to stand? There we go. Oh yeah, I did used to love those when I was little. I've, I've, I wouldn't have gotten that one, <gasps> but that does remind me like they used to come out with Halloween ones, like little monsters and stuff um and definitely always jack-o'-lantern ones <laughs> okay look we got a double but it's not that bad because it's a really cute one the moon pies it would have been super cute if i got a chocolate moon pie i always think just chocolate things and banana go so good together but no we got a same one little banana moon pie the taste that never gets old not even when you get it twice in a row but no, that's totally okay because it's super cute. Okay, we've got two more. I do hope that we get new ones. Oh, there's our checklist. We got a little beef stew. Look at it. It is so cute. Every one of these is just so freaking cute. I can't stand it. And it has like the little pull tab on the top. The little ridges in the can. Adorable. I love it like for winter too. So cute. Okay, and then we're on our last one. And what do we got? Oh, <gasps> no way! We got the Pez candy <laughs> to go with the Pez dispenser. And I am really excited because these, to me, are super cute. I love the way Pez candies are just like such a perfect little shape. And then the little candies, individual candies, come out in the perfect shape like... I think I feel like if you know you know like <laughs> I say the same thing when I open like the high chews or the pachows or I never know how to say that but in my Korean hauls the shape of them is just like so pleasant so here are all of our tiny foods from today I love them they're so cute and don't forget we've got nightmare before Christmas now so let's clear this all out and let's see what we got there Okay, so we've got our Nightmare Before Christmas toys to open now. And this one in my on the left side was from HEB during a run in their Halloween section. And these were $5 each, which I think is pretty cool. I actually love, even though like they definitely put it in a capsule so you can't feel it. <laughs> I really love that they come in a little capsule. I think these styles of toys are pretty cute for collectors. It says series two and there are nine to collect and it shows you on the back who you've got to collect. Definitely that is zero, <laughs> which would be cool. I love the freaking vampire teddy. Look at the scary face, Zack, Pumpkin King, Zack, Jack. Look, I know his name. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me tripping over my words. Um, Pumpkin King Jack. Oh, oh, look, Zero's right here. So, oh, my guess would be that this is a glow-in-the-dark Zero. It would be really cool. Oogie Boogie is super cool. Pajama Jack is okay. I feel like there's nothing here that I could would be disappointed about. They don't have, like, the mayor is usually a character. Oh, let's compare. Okay, so this one... 
was from Target and it's in like the little um like media section where they have all the cool like pop figures and everything and this one was I think it was either seven or eight dollars I think it was seven dollars and these are the ones that you can collect here it's a little shiny so it's hard to see but they look really cute of course I don't know how they're gonna look in a 3d figure but they look adorable I really really want this one here the pumpkin jack-in-the-box I don't that looks like another Jack and that looks like I don't know a Sally yeah because look at her hair um I kind of don't want the lock shock and barrel because I don't really like the artwork they did on them and Dr. Finkelstein as well I don't really like the artwork on that one that much the mayor is kind of cool he would have been cooler if he had his upset face and zero looks adorable here um oogie boogie looks adorable too i feel like these would i i actually don't know what the game what the sizes are we're going to be dealing with but i feel like they'd be cool for game pieces if they were the right size we have um nightmare before christmas let me do this off camera <laughs> okay so i popped it open i haven't seen it yet um we have a nightmare before christmas munchkin game which i super recommend if you're like a board gamer um that one is such a good game and we created our own like board and pieces for it so oh my gosh we have vampire teddy and it is so cool look at him he is so super cool i don't think these open do they i don't want to break it <laughs> yeah they don't open they they remind me of the um aliens from simpsons <laughs> like treehouse of horror style they're in their little capsule Look at that gorgeous. I love the shape of it. Very, very pleasant. I'm sorry if my lighting is like too bright on this one. I feel like it is. <laughs> that actually fixed it. <laughs> okay. Maybe. There we go. And it's really cute the way they have the little like plaque um, placement there and labeling. Like I said, I think this is really cool for a collector. That is so nice i love it oh my gosh i'm super excited okay that was a good figure <sighs> this is definitely a series that i'm gonna have a hard time not wanting to go back and get more <laughs> okay and then let's go ahead and compare these so excited to see the artwork on these and that's series five okay took me a second to find my scissors any pair of scissors that i film with is always cursed they always disappear after <laughs> never to be seen again i don't know if oh my gosh i think i saw what it was if you guys remember my gingerbread scissors those are my favorite scissors and i never found them after filming with them i got eggy buggy oh my gosh this was such a good score and look these are nice because these come in a little like bag clip style look how adorable this artwork is so pleasant even the coloring of it is so gorgeous the black is really matte the details are just imprinted in everything here is like very satisfying if you're like a person for like touch and i guess a certain type of you know i guess it comes down to like taste artistic taste but like this is very satisfying i am so happy with this figure and i think i would be probably with most figures in the series and get a look at them again i think they're just like very pleasant man i so want that one. Oh my gosh <sighs> if this video gets a hundred thousand likes then i'll get 10 of these to open <laughs> i'm just kidding i have <laughs> no followers <laughs> but that's okay <laughs> for every one of you that is following me geez I appreciate you guys <laughs> but like that's not gonna happen and that's why I said it because I can't afford <laughs> I can't afford that there have a cute little stamp on the back is just so nice okay I don't know if I'm showing you anything but here's the comparison again this is a five dollar version item and this is an eight dollar seven or eight dollars I'm sorry but yeah look they're like a similar size and they really have both their own aesthetic. However, they're definitely both my aesthetic. Like, I love them. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy with them. 
Okay, definitely let me know in the comments which one of these you think is the series that you would purchase from that you like better. And also let me know what is your favorite. Oh, <laughs> bye Vampire Teddy. Uh, let me know what is your favorite Nightmare Before Christmas character. I would love that. Let me come up with an answer for me. Hmm, I feel like my favorite would probably be Pumpkin King Jack. It's so cool. I mean, Jack lanterns are just the best. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you guys so much for coming. Please do like and subscribe if you want to stay around for all of my cool content that I put out for you guys. I really hope you enjoy it. Appreciate you guys very much. Have a good day and goodbye.